What do you think about Chavez? Is he a victim of the system? Hi, I'm Pastor Joan Iches. Today, I'll talk about Chavez, socially discriminated or raised with pain. Doubtless, our environment of vessels and it makes us build a mental structure around our personality, our family, friends, neighborhood, school, our childhood. All of these influences in our breeding because of previously teaching generates a bad character. If you was treated with discrimination from our childhood and get worse with this treatment comes from our own family. A lot of people suffer inside of their own home. Discrimination, abuse, and being underestimated by their own family. I want to share an interesting story about someone who the Bible tells he was discriminated, abused, and underestimated by his mother, his family, and siblings, which name means sorrow. Just take a look at what the Bible says about this man of God in the book of Chronicles, chapter 4, verse 9 through 10. The story reveals that Jabez lived worn out and desperate because, because of his parentage. But call my attention the fact Jabez decided to refuse his frustration and despair unto the hands of God. He has God bless him, widen his territory, and free his life and God's protection for not becoming weak. The point is how Job is reverted, his misery and the blessing of God, he didn't forfeit the opportunity to change his life. And his name from sorrow to happiness and also became his offspring blessed and great forever. The psalmist David, Psalms in the Psalms, chapter 30, verse 10 through 12. They believed a lot of frustration and he fell down many times. Nevertheless, the king preferred confidence in serve and rest before God. The psalmist cried so much, not standing experience, the joy and happiness of God. No matter how far looks our goal, whenever we put our confidence in God, the success will be guaranteed. Because of this, the king longed to be in the presence, in the presence of God always. By the way, they be put in evidence the fruit of the weight for God in the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 1 through 3. The key word is patient. The swine who learns to wait for the Lord will be exchanged never in the life. The Bible testified about Jabez's prayer, but he knew wait for God, in response, no matter how long it takes. There is an old legend that tells about Jabez's father. According to the tradition, his father abused his mother and later abandoned her. Because of this, his mother transferred her pain and sorrow through him, his neighborhood included, and relatives refused him until he decided to seek the Lord and carry his suffering before God. By the end, Jabez became more honorable than his siblings, despite being stigmatized by everybody around him, because the Lord widened his heart and his territory. And also freedom from evil to avoiding get weak, and God broke his mental structure, we stopped him to advance and finally he turned him into a great man of God in his family community and among his friends and overall making his offspring with the blessing of God forever. The Bible teaches us how God is capable of reversing a pride in a triumph. As the Bible says 
in the epistle of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 25 through 31. Definitely, Jabez didn't add any curse. By contrary, he was affected from his childhood by discrimination and also he was breathed with a lot of pain and sorrow. All of us have the chance to improve our life and enhance our spiritual, professional and personal territory. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe, leave your comment, and share them to enhance and improve this Christian community. Take care. See you soon.